Welcome, guys. Welcome to Jumada Channel. As you know, we talk about EB2 and IW, green card, and helping to fulfill your dream to America. And today, there's an announcement that really shocked most of us. And um, I'm just sharing this announcement with you. It's about the cap, the, the EB2, EB1 for extraordinary ability people has maxed out. Maxed out in the sense that they reach the maximum capacity. And the U.S. Immigration has announced that for now, they have reached capacity for EB1 and it's not going to be issued again. How does this impact the stakeholder? For EB1, top talented people, extraordinary researchers, um, people that are of the um, international caliber, executive, multinational executive, and top talented people, they are shot at. They cannot go for their interview because even if they go for interview, there's no visa or green card to be allocated to them. Both had adjustment of status level and consular processing. So when you look at it, they have to wait on the next until the next physical year. 2024, normally the year of immigration, US immigration starts from September one, one year to the September the following year. So this announcement is made by August. And why everybody was um, mesmerized or flabbergasted is because Usually, these are top talented. They actually ex exhaust the quota of their green card before the year runs out. But that is how you will know that many people who know what it takes, who know how to prepare this application, are taking advantage of that green card and they are getting it. So don't sit out there and say, oh, the requirement is so much. I cannot meet up. You probably have what it takes, but you need somebody knowledgeable to help you prepare it. And in this channel, we'll talk about EB2. And I just want you to know the implication of this on the EB2. The EB2 NIW is the second preference, which is has a bit of a lower requirement than EB1. It's for people with exceptional ability and advanced degree. And if people that are top talented maxed out before the end of the physical year, so what are we, what are we talking about? That shows that EB2 also is likely to be maxed out before the end of year. For now, what the EB2 still have is some um, backlog that they are treating, but they, they have not actually announced that they've reached the mark before the end of you know, the, the year. So any EB2 that is granted or current now, you can process, you can go to consular, you can go to do all your adjustment status as long as your priority date is current. So I want us to understand because uh, knowledge is power. And I'm just sharing to us to let us know what is happening. Even though this one hits the top talent, what does it mean for them? No adjustment of status until the end of the fiscal year 2024. This as an announcement is made in August. The applicant's interview is either rescheduled until when new green card is available. By October 1st, 2024, there's going to be a recess and the full allocation for EB2, EB1 will start again consular processing and adjustment of status begins again. Similar problem was announced a couple of months ago for EB3. And let's see how the allocation, because if EB1 has been affected and EB, EB3 has been affected, invariably EB2 will be affected. So you need to have an understanding. It's teaching time takes now. Take advantage, get your application, do what you need to do to get your EB2. So I, I'm talking here about the allocation. So. When you look at my screen, you find out the allocation uh, that we have for all the, how the 140,000 green card is being shared within the employment-based visa. You find out the EB1, they are priority worker, they have 40,040. The EB2, advanced degree with exceptional ability, the allocation out of that 140,000 is 40,042. So the employment-based skill worker, professional, and other worker, they are 40,042. So you find out that the way this allocation is made, usually any category that doesn't use this allocation is transferred to the another one. But right now, EB1 has already maxed out is so, so there's no um issue that it will be you know transferred or reallocated or whatever. And you find out that the EB4, which is um special migrant, is 9,944. EB2, which are immigrant investors, those who are really putting down money to um, come to America to invest, they have 9,940. And this employment-based visa total for EB1 to EB5 is 
40,000. So you are out there, you have what it takes. I'm so passionate because I have tested and tried that these things are real and you don't have to, you know, know about it. Just talk to Juma Day Consulting Firm. I'll walk through it. I will walk through. I can help you to evaluate your CV to see whether you are qualified. If you're not qualified, I will let you know. But if you are qualified, you are out there suffering, take the advantage. This is your dream. Put in what it takes and get your EB1 or EB2, depending on what you think you, you are qualified for. But what we do in this channel is about EB2, NIW. Um, 40,000, 140,000 visa available every year out of 140,000. For now, the EB1 priority workers, top talent are locked out. So if you don't do fast, don't get locked out when, you're EB, when you are ready for EB2. Don't procrastinate. Get all your documentation. Get your CV. And let's see what we can do for you. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for listening to me. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Before then, stay blessed. Bye for now.